the FTSE 100 has actually gone sideways since March. We had a very good run in the first couple of months, well, since October, actually, on the FTSE. And since then, we've been in a triangular formation. Which way will it break? We'll have a look at the charts. At the moment, I'm expecting a break to the upside, but we need more upside momentum if that's to occur in the short term. And here we have the usual uh, daily. So each uh, candle represents one day's trade. And you can see, I'm not, I haven't drawn the triangulation formation on there, but you can see we've got the uptrend there and the downtrend here. Um, no indication which way we're going to break. Um, there's positives and negatives. The 20 days giving support and gave support over the last three days, which is good. Uh, so we did dip below it on the 24th, but now back above it. However, the 50 day is starting to roll and there's immediate resistance. Um, so that's bad. Um, 200 day, the longer term picture is solidly upwards, which obviously is uh, is positive. The RSI is 53.93, uh, so above 50. Um, not indicating a great deal of upside momentum though. Um, we it seems to be faltering as it's uh, as it's above 50, and likewise the MACD are flatlining, although marginally above the zero. On the weekly picture, um, you can see that we've got support from the 20-week moving average, um, and uh, that that's a good sign. Uh, the 50 has also crossed the 200 in a golden cross uh, back in January which bodes well for the medium term picture. Perhaps we're slightly overextended away from that 50 week moving average. Um, RSI actually in a downtrend, again a bit above 50, 57.7, but um, certainly not so showing solid momentum. And the MACD are actually showing negative mo no mo momentum at the moment uh, as they track down. On the four hour chart um, here, again, a slight um, mixed picture. Uh, the 20 is just starting to roll back up. Um, the 50 average is OK, but the 200 is moving down uh, on the RSI. Again, it's it, it's marginally above 50, 51 spot 94 but is looks like it's in a short term downtrend. And again, the MACD showing no upside momentum as they flat line, but are marginally above the zero. Um, I mean, on this chart, you can see that um, we've got this pattern of uh, lower highs. Um, the pattern of higher lows was broken. So one would expect maybe the market to pull back down. If it pulled back down to 7400, it probably bounce again. Uh, but it's got every potential to move to move up, um, and that's that's the key to all these charts on the FTSE. And let's go back to the daily. Um, if it could break up above the 7500, it it would start to look uh, very positive again, and then we would see a, a break, um, you know, testing the resistance at 76 quite quickly. But we need to see this break from this triangulation picture before we decide which direction. Because even if it came down to the downside, say the 20 day moving average failed and we then come down to test the support at 73. If that happened, we'd soon be testing the 200 day, which is just above 72. Anyway, moving on and looking at the support resistance levels, we've got resistance at the 74.51.38 level 50 day. And then, as I said, 7500 the key. Um, and... Um, Sorry, I've got those the wrong way around. So that's the 50. And then we've got support at the 20, 95.73. Ignore that. And then support at 7,300. So that's been TA for traders having a look at the FTSE 100. A bit of a mixed bag at the moment, but I've got one foot still on the in the bullish camp. Uh, the key takeaways are we've got this triangulation formation. Uh, we need to wait for a break, but I do expect it to be up. Uh, weekly's got support at the 20-week, 
but on all measures we need to get some more upside momentum to get that break many thanks for watching this video please do remember that these videos are my opinions only and that they are not meant as an investment recommendation thank you